Hello there. Hello there, everybody. It's me, your Star Wars father. Do yourself a favor. Do your family a favor. Do your community a favor. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Get me in your feed. Have a lot of Star Wars Dad content coming your way. I want to talk today as I've got kind of struggled with how to how to how to verbalize this, but I, I it's something I, I see all the time when reviewing rosters. It's something I've always prepared for myself. And and right here, this is it right here. I'm not gonna talk about whose roster this is. We're not here to to take name names and and deliver tortures. And I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not here to call people out. But this is an unlocked Darth Malik, right? And right now he's only five star. And by the way, I looked at this roster like a week ago. So, and he's gear looks like gear eleven. Um, boys and girls, <laughs> if you're going to be farming a character like Malik, or Gas, or, or Wampa, or taking a journey to Commander Luke Skywalker, um, or a Galactic Legend, you need to prepare ahead of time to get them to their max star and level and Zeta capabilities as fast as humanly possible. Let me, let me, first I want to show you something here real quick. Um, and this is, this is a, a little video of me unlocking, and where is it here? I'm gonna find, yeah, this is me back in the day. This was at nine months and 20 days of my Star Wars dad account unlocking, unlocking Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And this was free to play. So while I was farming the tickets for Spring Leader Kylo Ren, and while I was finishing up Finalizer, I was farming all of his gear, I was hoarding all the Zetas, so that I, at the moment that I unlocked him, I took him to Relic 4, and I took him, I activated all six Zetas. The day I unlocked him, free to play. You should always be prepared with these characters. Now, I know that's different from Malak. I'm going to talk about Malak here in a second and what you have to do to be able to unlock Malak and take him to seven stars quickly. You, you really can't do that same day necessarily in the game, but you can get that done quickly in the game. And I just want to, I just want to really encourage you guys, do everything you can. As we watch me up there, uh, there he is, what is he, gear two, gear two now. And I'm taking my time. I'm taking. I'm, I'm taking my time. I should have sped that up a little faster. I was looking for the the uh, Kylo hamster uh, short there, but gear three, gear four, gear five, uh, six, seven, on and on. You can prep yourself. Go to swgoh.gg. Swgoh.gg. If you haven't used it, you've probably registered your account on there. If you're watching me right now, you're going to be a player. This is going to be a Discord. You got your account registered on there. Going to be a guild that requires that. You can look up all the gear for these characters as you unlock them. If this is a priority for you, I realize there are some of these journey events. You know, you unlock CLS, you generally don't have, like, the rest of the team available. You know, you don't have, you may not have Han yet, you may not, you have Chewie yet, 2PO, 3PO. Those are guys coming later, so maybe you don't relic, you know, CLS right away. But when you get a Galactic Legend, when you get, when you get a General Anakin Skywalker, when you get a Malak, you want to get them as fast as you can to seven stars, as fast as you can to relic levels, and get these characters done and up and working for you immediately. When you do, uh, when you do the Jedi Knight Luke event, get that guy up, man. He's not gonna be ready to go and fully working for you unless you have all his relic levels and all his Zetas on. I have beaten Galactic Legends who were like a gear 12 with three, three Zetas. I beat him with all sorts of teams. Those guys are not at their maximum capacity until they're at their maximum capacity. So boys and girls, that, that's the main lesson today. And I'm gonna take a look here, we're just finishing up this footage now. I think that's wrapping up here. Um, so you get it, I, I put all the Zetas on, I took care of the whole thing. Here is the, the guild event token, guild event, guild events store, okay? So you get your guild event tokens, you get your get two, which is this broken one here. You get your get energy, which is get one, which is the, the put together. It's a sergeant thing, what is that called again? I can never remember what that's called, the, 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 the rivulets the what's the sergeant banners called anyway that's that's there's a word for it and i can never remember it and you look here guys when you unlock gas and when you unlock darth malik you're gonna unlock them at five stars they are a five star unlock and then you have to use get one currency to take them to the rest the rest of the way to seven stars so how much get one currency do you need to save do you need to save 
to get these guys a seven stars. And it'll take you a, a week or so to spend the currency, but here it is. Oh, I saved it. It's, so I made this little graphic for you. We'll, we'll uh, General Anakin Skywalker and Darth Maul, to get them to seven stars from their five star unlock, you need 70,300. So if you're working on Malik, or if you're working on General Anakin Skywalker, save up 70,000 of this. Do the math with where your guild is in territory battles. You're probably unlocking anywhere from four to 6,000 of this uh, twice a month. So you're doing eight to 12,000 a month of this, somewhere in that range, probably, probably, probably more like three to 4,500. But anyway, do the math. Let's say you're unlocking 7,000 of this. Well, you gotta save for 10 months. If you're doing 7,000 a month, you gotta save for 10 months. And just, you need to be aware of that because you need these guys at seven stars quickly. Don't like get them and not be, and, Gas needs four Zetas. Malik needs, I think, one Zeta? Two Zetas? I'm not sure. I also put on there, uh, for Rebel Officer Leia Organa, she needs 59,400 get two currency to unlock. But she also shows up in the Galactic Bounties Challenge, which comes up, I think, every other month you get that, where you can actually get 20 shards for her and that. See, there's, you won't need a full 59,000 unlock Rebel Officer Leia Organa if you're looking to go after Jedi Master Luke or Jedi Knight Luke. Um, you can get her in the Galactic Bounties, but that's what it takes to get her if you just do it in this store all the way. The same thing for Hermit Yoda and Wampa. 89,100 gets you from 0 to 7 stars on these guys. Wampa is also available in the Galactic Bounties. In the, I think it's in the opposite one, so Rebel Officer Leia Organa is available in the one that gets you all the ladies. It gets you uh, Kira and uh, Ahsoka Fulcrum. Rebel Officer Leia Organa. Nest is in that one too, and somebody else I can't remember. Um, oh, it's what's her name? The the uh, the Sith who's unaligned, new to whatever. Um, and then and then the other one is Wampa. Also, and there's Paplu, Han Solo. I can't remember the other one. So you can unlock those guys in those Galactic Bounties, which are un rare events. They say every other month you get you get one of them. And by the way, I could be off on that cadence, but I think that's where it is. But if you're gonna do it straight with currency, this is what you need to save. So. This is my main my main focus for this video. I want to tell you guys, if you are going on a journey and you're dialing in on a character, a character like Malik, a character like Gas, a character like a, a galactic legend, save up the currency here. Save up the gear. Go to swgh.gg to see what gear you need. Save up the relic levels. Save the Zetas. Get them ready so you can unlock them and get them to maximum usage as quickly as possible and that's my entire message for the day hopefully this helps you guys as you plan i say this all the time when reviewing rosters i wasn't sure exactly how to word it and i might even have the right title in this because it's kind of hard to put into words but you just got to be ready be prepared be prepared you got to be prepared always be prepared everybody have a great day i'll talk to you soon <laughs> it's too good